All right. All right, so I was um, sent here to replace a motor, but I fired it up and realized that it was basically single phasing. There was one pair that was kind of dropping voltage, so instead of 208, I was getting about 100 volts. And I didn't have time to uh, trace it through the whole circuit, so now I've got it running again, and we're just using a thermal camera to look at all of our connections. and. Of course, some of them are going to be getting warm just naturally, but what you're looking for is a real hot spot compared to everything else. And you can see that right there. I'm at um, 98 degrees max. Now, thermals are really nice for troubleshooting intermittent problems, but one other method that you can use is voltage drop. So I've got my meter in millivolts, and we just want to compare our readings from one fuse to the next. So I've got about 47 millivolts of drop there. I've got about 110 and then 47 again. So this one's doing something that the other two aren't. So if we take a closer look, you can see where that connection, you can see where that's that's tight and that's tight on the top, but you see that little teeny gap right there. I believe that's what's causing our dropout. So we're gonna let it run longer and see um, if we can duplicate the fault again. We may not be able to, but we know that that's a problem right there, so we're gonna fix that. All right, uh, I got the power off now and you know, there's really no reason that I that I would have caught that. It, it's it's actually hard to see, especially when you're looking straight on. It was the thermal that really made this apparent. But uh, look at look at how loose this is. See that? And of course, you know, these are nice and, and firm in there. This one just flapping in the breeze. So that's where a bad connection was.